This episode of Grip Tips is brought to you by Lightbulb Grip. We're back, we're back. I'm Dave Donaldson. Welcome back to Grip Tips. Today we continue our Knot series with Luke Knots. So there's three knots that I'm going to be showing today. There's the Bolin, the Bolin on a Bite, and the Alpine Butterfly Loop. So out of all loop knots, these are the three most common that you'll find on set all the time, uh, but the Bolin is probably the most overused out of the entire three. The first thing that you want to do in order to make a Bolin is make a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Then there's kind of a poem that is an easy way to remember how to do this. First, the rabbit comes up out of the hole, then goes around the tree, back down into the hole, and then you take basically the bottom lines and the top line and you tighten the knot together. The knot will form and become snug. You've now just created a Bolin. This can be used by itself to just wrap around a hook or you can attach something to it. For example, my Mambo Combo stand, for instance, has this disc on top of the stand. I can start by pushing the end of the line through one of these loops and form a bowline so that it can hold on to the stand. Then I can repeat the process on three different sides for four lines altogether. Then on a windy day when I might be concerned that the stand will blow over, I can use these lines as a way of securing the stand in place and tying the lines down to some anchors like sandbags or trees or whatever. It can also be used to hoist things overhead, such as a lift. Maybe an operator needs some gear down below and currently can't move whatever the operator is standing on. He can radio down below for a piece of equipment, then lower a line to somebody else, who then can tie up whatever the equipment is and hoist it up to wherever the operator is. And then there's a bowlin on a bite. I've never used it, but here we go. First take your rope and bend it in half. Then you'll make another loop-de-loop -loop like we did earlier, but with both lines this time. You'll also pass the end of the line through the bottom of the loop-de-loop -loop like we did before as well. Now instead of going around the back of the loop, we will now separate the lines and pass them through the back of the big loop and back up on top of the knot. Then pull it all together tight again and you now have two loops instead of one like the traditional bowline. This knot's used in a situation where you need to form a loop in the middle of a line that is already tied to two areas. And last but not least, the Alpine Butterfly Loop. This is much stronger than the bowline itself, but that's because there's more friction. Uh, here we go. First, you will do the same steps as a bowline by passing the bottom line through the bottom of the loop. But instead, you will close the loop slightly, forming a pretzel figure. Then, you will wrap around whatever object that you wish and pass the line through the pretzel on top. Then, pass the line over the pretzel line around the back of the bigger loop and again down through the top of the pretzel loop. Then, tighten it all together and that's your Alpine Butterfly Loop. Now, this knot is stronger than the bowline knot. Are you going to use it ever? Probably not, uh, but if you were ever concerned that the bowline might slip for some reason, you could go this route. Okay, so I'm kind of coming up to what I would say is probably wraps up Grip and Electric 101. Very, very simplistic, fundamental stuff. Uh, but now I'm starting to kind of move on to some things that are a little bit heavier uh, and actually cost a lot more. So I've actually started a Patreon account, and if you would like to help out with that, because it's going to get really expensive really, really quick. So anything that you guys can do to help me out, I really appreciate it. I want to make sure that this channel starts to kind of raise the bar and, and kick it up a notch. So uh, if you feel like supporting, uh, you can visit my Patreon account. I'll leave a link in the description below. But Dave, you have a sponsor. I do have a sponsor. Lightball Grip is a lighting rental house based out of Brooklyn, New York, and they're dedicated to the education and safety on all film sets. If you have any questions about rigging, on-set safety, or even gear that you've seen in today's episode, you can contact them by heading over to their website at www.lightbulbgrip.com. Com. That is all that I have for you guys today. If you like today's episode, please let me know in the comment section below, or you can follow me on my Twitter right here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you every week right here on Grip Tips. Turn your hat around. Yeah, it might be. I feel like I look like a douchebag though when it's like this. You look like a douchebag anyway. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. <laughs>